All right, welcome to guitar duel number nine. And the fates have handed us a very interesting matchup here with Vito Brata versus Stevie Ray Vaughan. If you're not familiar with the format for this video series, it's where we take Taurus names and we put them in a glass bowl. I draw them out randomly and then you guys vote in a poll over which one you think is better. So the random matchups can sometimes make for some very interesting pairings, and we've got one here. I'm gonna give you three elements for each guitarist that I think makes them the best, and then you are going to provide the final decision by voting in the poll and commenting in the section below. So let's start right off with Vito Brada. Basically what you've got with Vito Brada is a neoclassical, Eddie Van Halen disciple. In other words, he makes free use of all of Eddie Van Halen's techniques, whether it's the horse whinnies or the tapping or the controlled use of feedback or even in some ways his uh, picking style. But there's a difference, a big difference in the two in that Vito Brada plays with a much more control style and Vito Brada has always been quite open with the fact that he is a follower of Eddie Van Halen although he does have a unique stamp. So the second thing I would say about Vito Brada is his sense of melody. His sense of melody could rival any classical composer that you mentioned like Bach or Beethoven or Mozart and it infuses his solos with a special musicality that a lot of players don't have. And the third thing I would say about Vito Brada that I think is really important is that he understands how a song works. He understands how the guitar solo fits within the structure of a song. He is not a person to noodle or show off with without purpose when he shows off it's for the purpose of the song to bring a certain amount of excitement to the song and a white lion as a band never really got to mature into its fullest capacity i could give you reasons for this and maybe i will in another video sometime but the reason one of the reasons wasn't vito brada vito brada continued to grow and develop as a guitarist and he has just about everything that you would need to be an ideal pop rock guitar player from um, style flash technique panache and uh, yeah flair so i think he is deserved of the reputation that he has even though he had a very short career with white lion and never did anything afterwards okay stevie ray vaughn interestingly enough like vito brada is a disciple of a great guitarist but it's not eddie van halen it's Jimi hendrix and a lot of people will say well stevie ray vaughn is the closest anyone ever got to playing like hendrix after hendrix i don't really agree with that and again that would be a topic for another video but one of stevie ray Va vaughn's strengths is his ability to play in the manner of Jimi hendrix and his ability to mimic that style close enough to give you that same feeling is technique of its own whether he's doing machine gun or little wing his ability to impersonate or evoke or celebrate hendrix is a technique the second thing I would say about Stevie Ray Vaughan is his blues playing and um, that Texas blues style. There's a difference between that and like Delta blues or Chicago blues, not just in its ferocity, but in the spirit of it. So if you play the Delta blues, you're kind of laid back and it's, everything's kind of moving slow and there's an element of kind of quiet despair beneath all the joy. And the Chicago blues, is let's blow the roof off this place let's get the horns blowing let's get the girls dancing let's get the drinks flowing the texas blues it almost has a slightly political side it almost has a slightly rebellious side to it and i don't want to go too far into that because i don't think it is openly political but it back to its form like i said particularly his okay so the third and final thing i'll say about Stevie Ray Vaughan is his humility and I don't mean as a person which that's quite evident if you look at interviews with him and stuff but I mean as a guitar player like he always remained respectful of the guitar always like a child looking to see what he could discover always realizing that while he was a master he was also an apprentice and I think this is something that the greatest guitarists of all have in common like if you look at Eric Clapton if you look at Jimi Hendrix if you look at Jimmy Page if you look at Alex Liveson or David Gilmore and Clearly, when you look at Stevie Ray Vaughan, one of the things they all share in common 
at least during the most productive eras of their career, is that they're in an absolute wonder and astonished love for the guitar and that joy propels them toward discovery and it also propels them toward mastery of the instrument so those are my three elements for each of the guitarists and i'd be interested to hear who you think wins the duel so comment in the section below remember to like and subscribe but most importantly remember to vote in the poll thanks a lot